and I'm not that worried about <laughs> it looks mess I Hey, what's up you guys? It's Eli. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing on this look on this eye. And I'm going to also finish it up. This isn't completely how I wanted it to look. I don't think. I also don't have on like my blushes and things yet. But we're just going to go ahead and get started. Start with my brows. I'm going to go in and slick them down. This is the Milk Makeup Kush Brow Elimination. And I'm just going to comb them up. And then really push it in. And going in with my O concealer in the shade medium warm, I'm gonna go right over that and I'm really gonna cake this on. And then you're gonna look nuts. I'm gonna go in with a little beauty blender and press it in really, really good. Then I'm gonna alternate between the concealer and the powder just a few times until I can get like the color path I want. And then we'll go in and cut my brow. Then taking the P. Louise Cut Carver and a Q-tip, I'm gonna remove all of the excess color off my face before I go in with any type of foundations or anything to clean it up. Just so it's not like mixing on my face and getting all like muddy and weird. Now that that's done, it's time to get into the star and I'm not gonna lie, it's so hard. If you've ever seen my TikTok series, eyeshadow isn't hard. I'm not putting this one on there because this actually was so difficult and I'm not even done with like how I really want it to look, but just this base. Girl, extra hard actually. Using the Sample Beauty Painters Palette by Beth Painter. It looks like this. And I'm gonna start with this shade fudge down here to make my star outline. And this is just an angled brush that I picked up. And I wanna make these as even as possible. Don't know if I can, but I'm definitely gonna try. So I know the point is gonna be up here. It's a little bit behind that, so I'm going to put it right here. It looks nuts. I'm not that worried about getting my lines perfect, especially the lines on the inside, because I went and filled it in, and I might go in and kind of... You'll see. You'll see. So I'm going to take a fluffier brush with some more of that fudge and kind of make my lines not so like sharp. We're going to blur them out a little bit. I'm going to take this itty, itty, itty bitty brush and we're gonna dip into the shade smoky which is the black one in the palette and we're gonna take this put it right in the middle of where we smoked out all those lines and kind of give a little bit of shape back to our star then i'm going to take this number seven brush by bh cosmetics i don't even know if they still have these but we're gonna go in and kind of smoke out our black now very 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 lightly though with our p louise base back of the hand my hand always looks like just the craziest palette you've ever seen i'm gonna use two different brushes i'm gonna start with a fluffy brush kind of just to lay down all of the fat chunks and then when i'm ready to get closer to the lines i'm gonna use this flat angle brush and on this side i went in with my elf soft luminous powder because it has like a little bit of sparkle but i think I think I actually want to go in with red, so I'm going to try it on this side first, just in case I hate it. So we're going to go in with the shade Leo from this palette. And I'm going to pack it around this outer edge of my eye. And then kind of blend her out like that. And I don't really want it completely filled in. I still want to leave some white parts. And I'm going to take my jewels. I got these from Amazon. And then just lash glue. And I'm going to put black dots on all of the corners. And then I put one on my inner corner. I have no idea where my dotting tool is right now, so I just took a brush and put a little bit of lash glue in the back of that to pick my jewels up. And I'm going to go in and do my lip combo, and I'm going to keep the same theme that I've been using on my eyes for my lips, so we're going back into this palette. I'm going to take that same one that I used for the red and dip back into the smoky color. Back into the shade Leo. So I stopped talking for the rest of the video, <laughs> don't know why, but I went over my lip combo with Fuchsia Flex by Fenty Beauty and then cleaned that up with some foundation. For my blush, I used the One Size Cheek Clapper in Fat Ass and I used all the shades except for the cream blush. And that was it, that was my whole look. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see y'all in the next one.